for the side of Capricorn. Hello, welcome to my channel. Just remember, the top cards that you see, they're paired with the bottom cards. And the decks that I use for this reading, I will have them listed in the description box below. I've already shuffled and we'll be taking a look at the recent past. We'll see what's coming up for the present time, the very, which is the very end of September. We'll find out what's going to be the challenge and then we'll see what the outcome is. So Capricorn, in the recent past, we got the Seven of Pentacles, and it's with the Magician. Now, the Seven of Pentacles is about returns on investments. This can be literal, such as a bank account returning money to you, or it could be figuratively, such as investments of time and effort and energy that you put into a relationship. So you would have been reaping what you had sown in the recent past. And this is positive, usually. It makes you feel more secure than you have in a while. Things would have been moving right along. And you would have been feeling really hopeful about the future with a good cause. So you might have had to decide whether to put your energy into things, people, situations that you were already involved with or whether to spend your energy trying to bring more into your life so it's about choosing wisely now because this is with the magician card which is a card that often signifies new beginnings great expectations it reminds us that we have the power to make a difference in our lives and in all other aspects of the world so just know that you would not have had it all handed to you on a plate, but you had the potential to have that plate and a lot of what's on it if you did the magic yourself. Because the magician, the magician is all about action. So if you don't know what to do, then just do something because anything would have been better than doing nothing. In other words, if you didn't try, you didn't get. So, recent past, Seven Pentacles, it's um, clarified with the Magician. So basically, oh, wow, it looks like you manifested something in the recent past. Yeah, because the Magician is about manifesting, having manifestation powers you manifested something to come in your life or a person a situation and whatever it whatever it was you really really wanted it to work because if you look at the seven of pentacles if you look at the card the picture says it all seven of pentacles is a card above the word pass you see how she's pouring water into this plant well, when she first got it, it probably was just a teeny tiny little thing. Now it's about eight feet tall or nine feet tall. The leaves are really dark green and rich. So she gets up every morning and before she goes to bed, she takes care of it. Something she really wanted to happen. She wanted this plant, this plant to grow. So she nurtured it. So something you manifested in the recent past something it came into your life or you were you were trying to make something come into your life and boy did you really want it to happen that's a recent past let's see what we got for the present time coming up towards well the very end of september we got the hermit card and it's with the king of swords now the hermit card it can be a very spiritual card. It could have something to do with institutions, large organizations, everything from a bank to an entire Christian church. It's kind of like the strength card. If you're familiar with that card in the tarot, the strength card, it's about being in the frame of mind that you need some time alone. Don't be afraid to take it. Even if it's just a five minute walk around the house so that you can clear your head. This is a card very much about trying to do really hard the right thing, 
But you want to make, you have to make sure that doing the right thing includes doing what's right for you personally and not just worrying about the wants and needs of others. Strength card is with the king. Yeah, that's the king of swords. Yeah, the strength card is, well, okay. Yeah, did I say the strength card? Well, wait a minute. Okay, for the present time, we got the hermit and the king of swords. Okay, so we just talked about the hermit. Okay, spending time alone. Now, what's below the hermit is the king of swords. It's the card below the word present. Now, the King of Swords, it stands for a very powerful, opinion, opinionated, forceful man in your life. He will often, but not always, have hair on the darker end of the spectrum. It could go either way. You could also be tempted about how things affect you personally. How things only affect you. Um... And not how things affect other people. Very self-centered. So when this card does not represent a man in your life, yeah, you could be very, very self-centered. Just thinking about how things affect you personally. That's what I'm trying to say. So you might have to consider the feelings of others before you act. The King of Swords is a very forceful, forceful type of energy. You may not be able to get this person in your life to change his mind or to do what you want. So you may, you may need to change something major about your behavior, thoughts, or expectations. But don't overextend your reach. Because this King of Swords, um, like I said, it's a very forceful energy, very forceful type of person. Um, yeah, this person oversteps their bounds. They can be stereotypical, typically manly. So, present time, hermit, clarify with the king of swords. So, it looks like you want some time alone to clear your mind, get rid of some baggage. Yeah, maybe you got a lot of stuff going on coming up towards the end of September. Or it could be because you're dealing with someone who's like this King of Swords. Now, the King of, King of Swords is known to be a narcissistic type of energy. Like I said, this person will overstep their bounds. They only think about, about themselves. They're very forceful, opinionated. Uh, you could be dealing with someone like this. Yeah, this person will mistreat you also. Very arrogant, probably really cocky. Uh, yeah, so this is this person is showing up in your reading. I don't know who this is. This could be a love interest. This could be someone new coming towards you. Or it could be the person that you're dealing with. It could also be the same person that you manifested a connection with. Believe it or not, could be. Because the recent past could have been a week ago, a month ago, three months ago, six months ago, or more. So, I don't know who this person is, but uh, they're causing you some time. They're causing you to want some time alone. Just to get rid of some of the baggage that they, they pour on you. So... Who knows, maybe it's a friend or a family member. But this is a love reading, so I'm going to say it's a love interest for most of you Capricorns. So, that's a present time. Let's move on over. Let's take a look and see what we got coming up for the challenge. We got the Knight of Swords, and we got the Page of Swords. Okay, so this Knight of Swords, it's showing that someone's coming in, someone's rushing in to be with you. 
Okay, yeah, that's what the Knight of Swords is about. It brings a really upbeat and cheerful type of energy. It can often mean that someone or something desirable is about to seek you out. The Knight of Swords, it points to your emotional, physical, and spiritual energy being at a peak. And if you're, if you're wondering if you're going to hear from someone or something, they're, they're rushing in and you're going to like what you hear. The Knight of Swords, it, it's showing a lot of activity, travel, being out, of, out and about, getting things accomplished, and not really feeling like wanting to wait for anything to come to you. So you're going after your heart's desire. That's what this Knight of Swords does. Now it's with the Page of Swords. Page of Swords. When you hear the word page in the tarot, that's that means um you're dealing with someone younger than you. This person could be immature or they could be a student. It means youth. The page means youth. Yeah, someone younger than you. Immaturity a student. Now because it's a page and a sword, it's a page with a sword, because it's showing up like this, it represents a person, um, like I said, who's younger than you. I know I'm repeating myself, but it does still, it, it indicates that someone wants to reach out to you. Yeah, someone's got something to say. Someone's coming in to talk to you. Someone could be texting you. Yeah, if you're wondering if you're going to hear from that person, yes, you got two message cards in here. Yeah, the Knight of Swords and the Page of Swords. Somebody really, really wants to talk to you. But since we're talking about this Page of Swords, this person, they could be trying too hard, pushing too fast, or it might feel like they're stepping on your toes. Because, like I said, the Page of Swords, it's somebody younger or immature, and they got a sword in their hand, so it may not be what you're hoping to hear. So you might have to study the body language of others and figure out how well you do or do not accept, accept constructive criticism. So the challenge, Capricorn, Knight of Swords, Page of Swords, a lot of communication is here. A lot of talk. Somebody has something to say to you. And I'm picking up, it's this King of Swords, this narcissist that's showing up in your reading. Yeah, because he's got a sword, and then your challenge is a sword also, and it's a page. So this person is not treating you the way that you think they should. Um, they're coming in to talk to you as a knight, telling you things that you want to hear. But... Wow, you got a lot of swords in this reading. I'm I'm picking up that you're this page of swords. Or you could be feeling like you're not really feeling it. You feel like it's immature conversation. Yeah, okay, this is what it is. This person this person who's mistreating you or not treating you like you think they should and they're forceful, opinionated, and they're causing you to wanna be alone, whoever this is. It's a love interest for a lot of you. For some of you, it's a friend or a family member. But they're rushing in to, to talk to you. This person will cut out whatever gets in their way just to, just to be with you. Maybe they want to try to sweep you off your feet. That's what the Knight of Swords does. But um, you feel like it's immature. You're not really feeling it. Yeah. You feel like their conversation is really immature, and they're not saying what you need to hear. Mm -hmm. you're not, they're not saying it at all. So, you feel, it's a, you feel like what they've got to say is a bunch of, either a bunch of lies or just a bunch of hogwash. <laughs> so, yeah, you find their conversation very childish. But they, they're rushing in. They want to talk to you and try to make things right. 
because they see that you're you're trying to back off and you're spending time alone. So let's see what the outcome is. Now we got the Fool card and we got the Ace of Swords. Now the Fool card, it's an indicator of newness in one form or another. In many ways it indicates the purity and open-hearted energy and innocence of a child. We all know children, they're trusting. And trust forms the basis of meaning for this card. Now this Fool card is usually a positive card, but there can be one thing. You have to be sure that you're looking where you're going. As you can see, he's not. Yeah, he's about to walk off of a cliff and land right into the Pacific Ocean. So be sure you're looking where you're going. Trusting yourself to take a step into the unknown. That's one thing, but if you do so without any thought whatsoever, it can be a big mistake. Now, full card is clarified by this Ace of Swords. So the Ace of Swords is actually, it's actually about a new beginning. But this new beginning, it, start, it gets started by a separation. Yeah, so you could, separation, maybe leaving a job, leaving a situation, leaving something behind, or cutting something out, and then you get this great new beginning. Yeah, so that's what the Ace of Swords is about. So Capricorn, what the outcome is looking like? It's looking like, um, yeah, everything points back to this King of Swords. Yeah, I'm just looking at the way they're rushing in to make things right with you. Because, like I said, they see that you're backing off and you're just wanting time to yourself. I don't know who this is. Who is this man, Capricorn? Because it doesn't seem like it's anyone from the recent past. It doesn't seem like it's this person from the recent past because you manifested something in the recent past. Or maybe, you know what I'm picking up? I'm picking up this, this narcissist. I'm getting two storylines now. And okay, let's go back to the recent past. I gave, I gave you the storyline that you manifested a connection with someone. For most of you, that's what you did. And you really wanted it to grow. Okay, but for some of you, yeah. My guides are giving me giving me a second storyline. For some of you, this narcissist, this King of Swords, manifested a connection with you. They really wanted it to work. Or they really wanted to work because they come rushing in. They come rushing in, trying to sweep you off your feet. But you, this forceful energy that they have. It's, it's really weighing on you. Yeah. So you spend time alone. And they see that's what you're doing. You find them really immature. You feel like they're stepping on your toes. You, you realize that for the outcome, you need to put a stop to this connection. For some of you, this is a family member or a friend or someone that you just met. Or, some of you are just dealing with a person that you've known like this for a while. But they manifested a new beginning with you. And they really wanted it to work. Or they really wanted, they really wanted to work. But anyway, you're, you're looking for a new beginning. Because a full card is about new beginnings. You're ready to just jump right on into something fresh and new. But you realize you got to cut this person out. Yeah, that's why the Ace of Swords is there. It's saying you, you get this new beginning once you cut this, this, this negative energy out. So yeah, some great new beginning is trying to happen. But you gotta put a stop to the negative energy that's in your life. But this person really wants to be with you. Obviously, you're not feeling it because you're wanting to be alone. So, 
Yeah, some new beginning is trying to happen, Capricorns. And you're ready to jump right on into a new beginning. But you got work to do. You gotta cut out the negative energy. Cut out this King of Swords. Um, you got some narcissistic type that's around you. Yeah, they manifested a connection, connection with you and they're rushing in. So now you just have to figure out how to cut them out. So that's the reading that I have for you, Capricorn. I hope this resonates. As you know, general readings, they do not resonate with everyone. Then again, if you like the reading, please comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. That way you'll be notified when I post my next reading. I will also put a link below of the extended of this reading where I'll go over how you both feel about the situation. What's in the near future for the two of you? How you see yourself? Best case scenario. And what will happen between the two of you in the next few weeks? There's also a link below for personal readings if you'd like to try one of those. So Capricorn, I thank you so very much for watching. I hope all of you are doing well and staying safe during this crazy virus season. Just hang in there. It will pass and we'll all get through this. So please come back and join me for the next Capricorn reading. Just in case this did not resonate, maybe the next reading will. So Capricorn, I can never say it enough. I thank you so very much for watching. I hope to see you at the next reading. And I hope that you have a great night. Take care, night. Take care, night. Take care.